it's not often I have to redo videos so close to the original release date, but Space Irrational is an exception and she's still on rate up and I just want to correct this mistake. If you are looking for actual gameplay for Space of Rush uh, to see what I'm talking about, uh, I'm going to be referencing um, one of my uh, shorter videos, like very recent. Uh, it's like Spatial Rush to Goal um, Insta Kill Farming with Paracelsus. Uh, I'm going to be referencing that a lot because it has to do with the mistake I made in the previous take on this. So, first off, it's a Rush to Goal. We've seen this costume on her before in CEs. I've, we've seen her wearing this before. Uh, then we have the space form, the beast, and then space. No, 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 regular rush. Good artwork, too. Uh, base attack, 11.4K attack. It's very, very slightly above, uh, below the midpoint. Very slightly. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's either you're double stacking her own attack buff or you're throwing in Oberon, and both are gonna increase your damage a lot, so I wouldn't even worry about this. 14.5k HP, she is very tanky to begin with. Uh, her kit makes it even better. This isn't the best HP to be super tanky, but it kind of doesn't matter for like what she actually can do. Star weight is Archer numbers, Star Pen is Saber numbers, combo of the two. If there are stars around, she's probably going to get them. Kind of just depends on what supports are running. But for the most part, she should be getting the stars. And when she's fully ramped up, you're not going to be worried about stars. Unless you're using a servant like Cuckoo that actively eats up your stars, you shouldn't be worried about stars with her. You should have like almost 100% crits. Okay, so deck. This is awesome. All the kit counts are great. Extra attack is low or not low, average, but that's fine. Four hit arts. It's to go with the the point three threes. Uh, is gonna get to a point where you're just like guaranteed crits on these arts cards. So I, before you're fully ramped up to rank ten for her own. Uh, mechanics until she's at rank 10 these aren't going to be that good uh or you're they're not going to be consistently good luckily she has stuff to make herself more consistent on it but from the get-go these are not going to refund that much by themselves so let's talk about class disadvantage because she is different than uh draco Unlike Draco, who has advantage against all the Knight class servants. The, uh, Summer Reshgul. Space of Reshgul. Advantage against all the extra class except Avengers. Every other class, neutral. This does mean she's hitting Berserkers at 1.0 damage. And she's still getting 0.8% refund. Uh, if you are not using double Castoria or space Ereshigal, I would avoid try to avoid berserkers like the plague. They will screw your refund over so hard. Uh, uh, assassins, little bit different. Par uh, Paracelsus can kind of get them low, but again, if you're not if you're not using Castoria or Shufu, you have to be a little more careful about wh uh, what enemies you're trying to loop with uh, space Eresh. If you have the extra batteries, don't worry about it. Like if you have enough battery that you can power through and you're not worried about refund, don't even listen to the stuff I'm talking about for refund. She is someone that has a ton of battery. And as long as you're not using a character like Paracelsus that has zero battery, like that's the only time you're worried about refund. If, you sh if you're short a little, you just pop a battery. If you're short a little with Paracelsus, you're screwed. Uh, especially if you're trying to reset cooldowns. So yeah, once again, neutral damage from every uh, class except uh, the extra class. Super weak against Avengers, but that's also because it's Space Ishtar. 
um and this is a flip from how they are in normal because normal rush claps uh ishtar and for space it's the reverse all right for skill 20 percent attack 20 percent mp damage 20 percent battery 100 percent insta kill res and a very small 500 poison this is nothing don't worry about it literally poisons you by being as sweet as she is her affection is lethal anyway this is on a six turn uh because of how uh the reload meta or skill reloading meta cooldown meta whatever people want to call it now because of uh this mechanic this goes down to a five meaning you can double pop it in cooldown reduction stuff i'm saying cooldown reduction and not double vich because space rush does not need double vich to be able to function in cooldown stuff she can do that stuff on her own but it's important to note for cooldown stuff if, if it's a six turn you bring it down one and then you uh reduce cooldown by two you are popping it back to back turns that's that's kind of all you have to worry about it and it's again depends on how much cooldown reduction you have in your team but yeah good skill uh keep saying ishtar's charisma needs buffed even though the, a lot of other people need charisma buff too but this is uh, no ishtar is on a five turn anyway so it, it is different second skill it's the, and this is why i said like she has ways to make sure her arts cards crit but this is not the end all solution this is the temporary solution until you hit rank 10. You gain 20 uh crit stars star weight for one turn 500 she is in she has archer star weight so 500 means she's pretty much getting all the stars unless someone with uh what is it eternal arms mastery with that stupid 5000 percent star weight regardless of what class you are it, yeah someone would need that level of star weight to take stars away from her at this point just because like archer like her star weight should be close to uh, i think like 700 uh 700 star weight that's that's a whole lot than everyone else in your team more likely than not actually i think it's act and if i'm not mistaken this is calculated the very similar to how um like star weight is calculated similar to how um aggro is in honkai i'd actually have to look more into that but like basically like you'd want one character to have super high star weight and the other ones to have low star weight if they have a higher star weight uh again they have more pr priority they're gonna have uh a higher percentage of stars going to them there we go i said it right and with that star weight 100 percent crit damage and a 50 percent battery and little cherry on top for those super ryan fans if you crit you get 100 percent crit damage each time so this goes up to 300 percent crit damage from her own kit ain't that nice but yeah you can do some like really disgusting stuff and even though this is on a seven turn cooldown it's not on a seven turn cooldown i can promise you that you're probably going to be doing this every five turns uh and that is it taking the longest and let's move on to why Two attacks, three turns invul. One time, three turn guts. Recovers HP. Cleanse and debuff. Buff remover resistance. One time, three turns. And then reduces skill to cooldown by two. All on a seven turn cooldown. And notice the order of operations. I'm assuming this is how it works. But all this up happens first. And then the, school, the skill goes on cooldown by two as well. So essentially she isn't a six 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 seven seven. She is a four uh no yeah, sorry, four five five. 
if I'm not mistaken, this, and I'm pro like, the only reason I'm saying if I'm not mistaken is because my space of rush does not have this maxed out and it, the skull cooldown is different for, uh, it's a little different for her just because this is on an eight turn and I'm reducing the cooldown. So I'm not able to actually double pop this in my farming, but yeah, like if you're farming, you kind of don't care. And if you're in a CQ, you have ways to stay alive besides this until this is maxed out. But for normal farming purposes, these two are going to come off cooldown and you have a 70% battery to come back from over the course of two turns after you already pop your own 70. It's why like, it's why Oberon for her like insta-kill farming comp isn't needed. You're not going to like, she has the batteries of Oberon. He has the independent 70 batteries that are also split into 20 and 50, just like Oberon. So if you don't reset cooldowns and start double stacking your stuff, but you can for the last turn, I believe. Um, yeah, you should be like the battery situation should be, just be similar. Damage is obviously going to be different because Oberon third skill doubles MP damage, but battery wise, we're good. And honestly, damage wise, I don't. She hits 2,000, 200,000 without a second Castoria by double stacking. I'm actually, her with Oberon and and Black Oh yeah, and that, that 200,000 isn't with Black Rail either. That's with just 2,000 extra attack. So her with Black Rail and Oberon, I, would have to assume she's hitting like 700 800 thousand in that comp and that and it goes even higher because i'm not using castoria Oof. party cost is just like too much right now chat and i i do not feel like using space to rush with oberon because that's four that's three four uh five stars i'm still bond leveling right now party cost is just too high if you want to see that stuff you have to watch it on stream uh, but I'm just bored. All right, let's go to passives now. Three time debuff immunity, flat out. You get this every single battle. On attack buff, whenever you normal attack, you get five battery. Goddess essence E minus. This is the lowest I've seen it. 14% debuff resistance. It's probably why she also has this innately. It's so it fights off her bad man magic resist for a god like. For someone that has goddess essence, like for the most part, most servants that have goddess essence also have magic resist. They have some really, really stupidly high magic resist combos. Like, let, let's even go down here. Yeah, like even Passion Lit has 30, like 35. And she has the lower value of this. I'm like. Lock, Lakshmi is a saber. She has uh, magic resist. Check Iris feel. She probably has magic resist. No, she doesn't. Okay. But it's like, usually there's a wombo combo between goddess essence and magic resist. It's not happening here. So if she did not have this, for someone that has goddess essence, she'd be getting debuffed really, really easily. Uh... 20% crit damage against servants, sure. Why not? Uh, beast passive, 1.5% crit damage, insta-kill resist, and mental debuff resist. Uh, immune to... St uh... Wait. Is it... Is this in like separate for her? Okay, I like I'm about to say, um, because this was a new line, but e independent manifestation E minus. That's where like I'm like wait, this is different. Okay, so Basil Rush actually has a better version of this skill, despite the fact that it is a lower rank. He, um, he trades 0.5 percent on all of these for being immune to stun, petrify, bound, and pickify. You, like, any 
any single debuff that has this icon, it does not work on her. This is different from all the other, yeah, every single S, um, instance of independent manifestation. Space of Russia is the only one that actually has this part to it. Awesome. That does, that actually does save value for her. If it would be a stun, it doesn't count for it for this because she already is immune. Good catch. I didn't I didn't pick that up in the last one. All right, here is where I made the biggest mistake for the first take. I saw use a skill and I thought that was for literally all your characters. No, this is only space arrest. When Space Arash uses a skill, he will get the points. Even if you target her with other skills from other servants, it's not going to increase this, increase the master affection. The reason I made this, this mistake was because of this. Uh, Mystic codes that target um, Space Arash, or I think it's just effect. Like I was getting confused between the Mystic uh, code skills and other skills people are putting on her. There are two different things, and from my understanding and my own testing, like going through the insta farming, you guys can like see it. Uh, when I target Space Arash, her gauge is not going up. So this part is the whole reason I'm even re uh, redoing this video. All right, so gauge levels, you start at one, goes to a max of 10, and doing certain things, you have to get 10 points to go up a level. Uh, it does not, each level does not get more points. It is flat 10 and you have to just build these up. And some of these refresh uh, because it's a new turn. Others because they kind of don't refresh. Like master bond level, you don't get this every turn. You get five points. So basically, if you are bond five or higher and space rush starts in the front, you start at level two or, or close enough that like you almost immediately do it. If you fly on water side, that's an immediate rank up. Every time one of her command cards are chosen and active command cards, like if she's asleep and you choose the command card and she can't do anything, I'm pretty sure that it's not going to work. I haven't tested that. But it's kind of hard to test if a servant is asleep and whether they can pop skills or not at any given time. Um. I mean, besides Oberon, but I don't even know if that will count or not. It probably wouldn't. If she's not able to actually perform the action, I don't think she could be getting the rank. And if she's asleep by Oberon, what is she actually going to do? What, what does it matter if she get, like actually gets points if she's asleep by Oberon? You can't do anything with her. She's brick. Uh, if you perform a Brave Chain plus six to whatever you had here, If she uses a skill, but uses it before everyone else, so you're popping her first and second skill before all the other characters do, you get a bonus plus two um, to that first skill. I believe it's for the turn. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just for the turn. Uh, if, if you go into the next turn and you have first skill up and you pop it, I believe you'll get five and not three. It, like is hard to say when it's not a numerical value you have to go by like in increments on the gauge and for me it's just annoying looking like that but it is a much it's good that you have an indicator to begin with and not you don't know how much you're actually going up if you activate her noble phantasm and go into overcharge each stage of overcharge beyond one is gonna get you half a level so if you're able to get to overcharge five very easily, you jump up two levels, like pretty much right before uh, the no, like the damage is even calculated. And that is important. You are, you should be very happy that this applies before damage. Because otherwise, if you overcharge five, you're missing out on, I believe, 40%, uh, no, no, 20%, 20% uh, of the super effective damage if this happened after damage. Mystic code skills, uh, plus five. So three of them is one and a half levels. And if you target a rush with a command spell, that's a full level. A lot going on, but literally you just practice using her and you, you'll start realizing. 
pretty much just pick all her cards and target her with uh yeah pick all her cards target her with uh mystic code skills use her own skills get overcharge and then you'll eventually get to the highest rank and you want to get to the highest rank very very much and biggest note do not put space of Reshigal on your friends list she will be an extremely disappointing farmer if you try to use her on your friends list she's not going to be able to lock, unlock anything for her mp it literally it will literally have zero effects on it um besides uh, like pertaining to this we'll go into go into it a little bit whether she actually will have any effects on her mp if she if she's on the support list but that's for like in an, another few minutes this should be your number one priority for a pens before this and i know i usually i say this over uh over any of the others skill loading for space of goal is going to be like one of the most important things because it uh, enables you to be able to do uh much lower party cost for her farming like i said paracelsus support castoria and a uh space of goal with atlas mystico that's all i need to atlas farm i don't need damage besides maybe getting a little more overkill to guarantee i get the 50 uh for wave one and two but even then i don't i have a maxed out uh detective foams for extra 2000 attack that for me that's literally enough that's enough damage to be able to loop consistently uh and if it's a little inconsistent just face card one of the uh lower health enemies mobs and then i'm going to refund enough to keep the loop going uh one thing i did bring up in my last take of this and i was wrong about it is whether or not to be popping skills on space arash if you overcap on gauge because space arash kind of doesn't care about your allies whether they're popping the skills on her or not you like if you want to use someone other than paracelsus feel free uh asclepius shufu shufu honestly should work the best because she has that extra battery that is completely separated from her mp gain and arts buff that's the, the main issue with uh asclepius is that his uh arts buff is tied to the battery so if you don't want to over cap on battery or you don't feel like you want to save all your batteries for space arrest just in case she doesn't loop enough you're gonna have to run you're gonna run into an issue with asclepius where you're gonna have to either choose castoria's arts buff no you're gonna have to choose castoria's arts buff to pop on herself so she can get her overcharge over everything like asclepius's battery you wait next turn and then pop castoria's battery might not even have enough refund for that but i mean like it really depends all you need for her farming is to have this unlocked and then you're hitting the clean 100 as long as all the other skills are maxed out but yeah honestly for space rush uh if you're able if you're able to cast castory mp it's honestly for the best but the way space arrest works you would value picking a brave chain over going for overkill i mean overcharge so it's kind of the reason why i like paracelsus because he's able to get his mp almost immediately with uh space arrest because she her battery is aoe for the party uh even if paracelsus is a pen and battery aren't maxed out he's still able to mp any turn you want and uh provide a free level of recharge so had the i had the right idea my reasoning for like or no i had the right answer it's just how i got to that answer was very wrong and just showed like i wasn't playing around with space rush more than i should have all right so here is space rush's guaranteed buffs 
She removes the offensive buffs and has a chance to insta-kill. That's all her MP is without all of this mechanics up here. And her overcharge does absolutely nothing. So if you pick a space rush on your friends list, all you're getting is just a meh hitting neutral damage MP. Like, and I don't mean to shit on Space Rush on this, but her MP damage without her super effective mod is really, really not good. Really, really not good. She's hitting most servants neutral or 1.5 and 1.5 of this is 2700. Yes, that, that, that sounds better. But remember, he doesn't even get this on Berserkers. The most, like one of the most common classes to see in a node. He does not get the 1.5 on Berserkers. He hits them neutrally. I cannot advise enough not to put a rush on your support list and not to pick her from your, and not to pick her from your support list. Now, free country, if you want to play around with her, you can, but just know, like, even if you pull, play around with her on the support list, fail miserable in comparison. Use Space Arrest in the story. That one actually does let you um, rank up Master Rank. Like, uh, going through the first nodes of the new event, there's a Space Arrest there. That counts. That one actually does have Master um, master Affection. So if you want to try her out, try her out there. Don't do support list. You will, your view on her will not be skewed by poor damage. Now let's actually talk about this. Master rank, uh, rank four, you get insta-kill success rate. That's why she's able to do uh, insta-kill farming. She hits a, uh, 120, same as Doman. Level seven, in, ignore defense, ignore invo, and both last for a turn. Awesome in CQs. And hitting seven in a CQ, you hit that like turn two. It's not, it's not gonna take that long. And then rank 10, you get 50 stars every single time. Every single MP, you will drop 50 stars. And be like, and all you have to do is keep her MPing and you can kind of just go on a cadence of an MP once every turn. Uh, and then the next turn you like rip back or what have you. She's arts, you can arts farm and Tomomo, Castoria, all your art supports will love getting like massive art crits and like funnel their uh, refund. Usually I'm talking about biases for mats. Uh, the bias here is if you are not in post Lost Belt 7, you are going to have a miserable time trying to level this character. I just, this was one of the first times I did not get stopped by most mats. The only restriction I have right now is I need, I believe six more of these. And then my space, space of rush is maxed out with two of these appends. Like, I'm not kidding. Like if you have just a bunch of random mats, you're lacking some, but you have a bunch of a lot, you might honestly be able to just level her up from the get go and not run into issues because besides comet shards a lot of these you need them but not in such a high amount compared to other characters like void dust you need like 150 something for some characters for void dust so you need 30 here that's less than one of their skills comet shards probably going to be one of the more annoying ones just because it's the only gold mat leveling skills but i feel that JP recently had something to farm comma shards. Forget whether it was a hunting quest or something else. Um, but yeah, I wasn't hurting for this. And Bon CE. When Space Rush has this equip, 30% MP damage, 30% crit damage against servants, and you jump up another master level immediately. So you don't even start at two, you start at three. If you have this bond CE, you are easily bond five, unless 10 is less than five. 
I don't know. My sir, my students need to tell me that. Is 10 less than five? If they ever answer that, yes, I'm going to have words unless they put a negative in front of it. Um, yeah, this is Space Rush. I wanted to do the servant right and not about a bunch of bullshit. Uh, when I'm like this close to her release, this close while and while she's still on rate up, I want people to have like a good, accurate representation of this character. All right, I need to go record for a summer servant now. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.